Hello everyone and welcome back to this EU4 Hansa campaign where we are, um, well, more or less about to win the league war here. Just want to peace out Mr. Spain here and grab some cash from him and then we're going to finish off the war. So, yeah, let's continue with that. We are very close to actually getting the next ID group as well, which is very nice. Uh, we're not quite capped out yet, so we can wait before we need to spend some of our, um, what you call it? Monarch points. I know words. Come on. No. That one's not going to fall now. Oh, you're black flag. Let's send you back home then. Magdeburg claims to fight for land. Okay, I mean, whatever floats your boat, Magdeburg. You're not going to get any land though, because... I don't think you boarded the Emperor and that's the only one that's left here. Yeah. Well, you do you. Come on. Chop, chop. Okay, Granada has been sieged down. How about giving me some money? Still won't give war apps, eh? Alright. I think we can safely send you back home, though. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, with that, surely. Yeah, he'll give us that. He won't give us any more cash, though. But I think that's okay. Let's go with this. Um, I'm sure our allies will... Excuse me. I'm going to get black flagged. There we go. So we'll have to see now. Um, do we need anything else from him? So we obviously want religious supremacy. War apps. Force him to change religion as well. Give it another month or so. Or if someone gets over here and actually starts sieging these things down, that would work as well. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Come on, Sicily. You can land some troops there. I believe in you. Alternatively, we'll just have to... I mean, we can skip the war reps. It's not like we need money, to be fair. So, we'll just go like this. Protestant becomes the official faith of the Holy Roman Empire. Very nice. There we go. Excellent stuff. Who the heck are you? Silesia. Oh, good choice, everyone. Yeah, yeah. He, he's definitely going to protect us. Oh, very, very impressive. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We can seize some land, which we are going to do. We can upgrade a trade center here, which we are going to do. We can uh, do nothing useful there, so let's not do that. We do have a bit too much admin power here. Okay, there we go. Protestant Empire happened to us. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's see how we're looking here with people joining our glorious trade league. Oh, yeah. Okay, Anhalt, please join. Friesland, please join. Clevis, please join. So, are you lot already in my... Verden is already in mine, so that's all good. <clears throat> Thing is, I don't particularly want all of these ones in my trade league, to be perfectly honest, but... I hope it is what it is. Trent. Yes. Bayerut. And finally, the Palatinat. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> so, with that in mind, we can now... 
Every member of our trade league will become a vassal and lose so and so much liberty desire. Let's wait until the next year at least because... Yeah. Okay. What do you want? Ducats. Alright, sure. <clears throat> I'm feeling very generous. You lot can also go and do some exercises, because why not? And I mean, we can check if we need to build any buildings anywhere, but I somehow doubt it. Oh, we can actually build one of you. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'll do that. Um, no, nowhere. Nowhere. Alright. How are people feeling about the religion? Well, Austria is starting to get some of their provinces being converted now, which is kind of funny. Trading in gems, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Bohemia is being very, very stubborn when it comes to religion here. I'm almost impressed. Speaking of the HRE... Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, he needs to hand out some more elector positions. Are there no more freaking princes? I will vote for these things. Not so centralized empire, though. Oh shit, we have a new year. Alright. Grab you, grab you. We need to get whatever it's called. Quest for the new world, so we do need you. Excellent. That means we should be able to charter North America. Which just gives us global settler increase. Right, so can we colonize over here immediately? We need to choose native policy, that is correct. And native uprising charge minus 100%. Anything else is just madness. Let's send you over there. And I mean, it's not like we are lacking money, so we can definitely run quite a few colonies at the same time. Oh my god, we have Hamburgian separatists. Alright, let's get you over there. Get ready to beat them up. And do we need anything else to wait for for this one? I don't think so. Has just become the emperor. Okay, very good. Uh, many proclaim the republic to be in its dying breath as the second half of the 15th century saw our merchants struggling to maintain and often losing their monopoly across the many trade centers. Years. I don't think we did that badly in the second half of the 15th century again, but sure. Despite several setbacks and machina machinations of our enemies, we have managed to not only come out on top, but to also reinforce the values of our trade league. Dominating in the most important markets from Norway to the Baltic, we have proved our naysayers wrong, elevating the status of a great nation to never be seen before heights. Truly, this is the crowning of Germany's most powerful queen. Long live the Hansa. And we will definitely embrace the future. New traditions and ambitions, eh? Yes. Um, right. You seem to be slightly upset about life, the universe, and everything. I mean, I don't particularly care about you. I don't want to integrate you. Can we just abandon you? Break vassalization. There we go. Problem solved. To be fair, same with you, really. I don't care about you. Drop in. There you go. Ah, glorious. The Hanseatic League. A new tradition. Now, I don't remember Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Grand Electoral Republic. I'm pretty sure we were that beforehand, but... Um, 
I don't remember what these ones were. The D cost. I'm sure it's all good though. Alright, uh, where were we? Oh, cool. Iceland is out. Right. How's our colonies doing? Did we not send one? Oh, we didn't click on this nonsense, I see. Alliance breaking with Austria. Really, Austria? This is how you treat me? Well, I ain't afraid. Okay. Persia is no longer a valid rival. I guess we'll rival Russia as we can. Uh, where are you? Oh. <clears throat> Going to be a while before they appear there anyway. Um, what we want to do as well is do that. You just do that, that's fine. But yeah, the relationship is, is eating into it a bit. Now we do have, we already have strong duchess. I mean, Verden here, or you, we do want to definitely integrate. I presume we can't do that just yet. Now we need to wait 10 years for that. Brigitte Oldenburg has ended though. When you're allied to Sweden, why would you do this to me? Completion of the European Beaver. Two Sicilies are an alliance. Yeah, Northern Alliance of Trade Cities plus six. Is that a temporary bonus or is that a permanent one? Good question. Temporary one, okay. For 30 years, well, going to make it even more fun once that finishes then. Maybe shouldn't have expanded the trade league quite this much. Okay, um, sure. Election, when well, we were definitely keeping this guy. Anything else would be ridiculous. Okay, you are getting a bit too powerful. There we go, and uh, one more colonist, yes please. Okay, so we are going to send one colonist over there. Let's recall you. Let's send a colonist over there. I mean, if we can beat up Canada or um, France or the UK and take all of their land, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Not sure whether we need a completed one for that though. Okay, good. That is you taken care of. How powerful are we? We're only in fifth place. It's a bit disappointing, but Okay, colonists have always almost arrived. Okay, colonialism against French Canada. They have colonies next to ours. So we can go for this. And we'll call in a bunch of people that we don't really care about. So, I mean, this should be 
easy enough. I'm a bit worried about there being some shenanigans there with French Canada. How, how many troops does French Canada have? Not very many. Let's send our marines over there. And then we can just go and beat up France over here. See, do we have a CV that we can attack them straight away? Uh, nothing exciting. I mean, we do have a few conquest ones, but I don't think that's quite it. Let's see. France has how many troops? 82k. We should be able to beat that. Okay, we do have five colonies. How much are we even paying for colonies now? Ah, barely anything. We can just spam out a few more if we wanted to. Um, we need to go round though. Get those two over there. I mean... This is going to be very, very expensive now, but I think that's fine. It's not going to be a problem. And then I think we just go and declare war here. France is allied to Scotland, Lorraine, and the Pope. France lose over with Floride, who will aid them. Good for them. I think we'll be fine. Just need to wait until we can get some form of military access through here. Oh yeah, you can siege that down, that's great. This is capital over there. Can we get through here? Nope. Come on. I have so many freaking subjects. Surely... Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. We can sort of get to France now. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Good job. Can we get quicker? Still no, eh? Well, let's just keep occupying these things in the meanwhile. We have military access through here? Not currently. Well, we can go and do some sort of exploration. Okay, great. And you lot have almost arrived here as well. Very nice. Don't know what that was, but I presume we won. Okay, we have managed to find some French here. Good enough. Yep. Yeah. Just keep pushing through. This is the problem. <laughs> we'll have to go. Siege down one province at a time. Okay. Well, we found French Canada at least. So this is going to black flag us. Very nice. Push you over there. If he comes back here, then we could actually attack him. 
which wouldn't be the worst idea. Okay, but well we don't need everyone here. Let's put you over there. And I think both of these ones have the same shitty siege, so let's put one over there. So let's have a quick look here. So can we get them to... No, there's no option to just concede Canada. Do you know when that... It's a colonial war. You would have thought that would be... an option, but... apparently not. But we're still going to take pretty much all of it up here, so... Right. Come on. We need to siege down something so that we can actually go and crush you. Okay, well we are wrecking all of his navy. So that's always nice. And if we can go and crush that army as well, that would be even nicer. Where the heck is even Scotland? Oh my god. So that's all that's left of the mighty nation of Scotland, eh? Can you reach there? Sort of. Might be quicker to just wait for this one to finish, but... Uh, gain a claim on hunt. No, we don't need that. Oh no! Morale of arm is down. That's okay. I think we got the ridiculous amount. I'm fairly certain we have... Yeah, we have no inflation. So, prestige, I guess. That doesn't really make any sense. Very nice stack wipe there. He is going to gain inflation or lose Republican trees. Well, I guess we're getting some inflation then. Ah, oh, beautiful. Uh, are we going to win this? Yes, we are. Even though it was a bit dodgy there. I can't get there, apparently. Can't get there, though. Okay, nice. Um, Game Diplop. Are we doing a diplomatic ID group? So let's do that. Go. North American fur trade, eh? I am working on getting into that one as well. 18k? Oh, well that's less than ideal. Because they can just burn up provinces down here now, which... Would not be particularly nice. I mean, we're going to keep this guy. Oh shit. That was probably not the best idea. No, no. Run away, run away. Oh, shit. Why does he have freaking military access through here? I do not approve of this. Definitely do not approve of this. No, uh, no, 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 no. Just, just give them that for now. Alright. What else have we got? Colonial range shouldn't really matter that much at all. I don't like this army being here, though. Well, we are technically winning. Also, it's a navy and not an army, but... of you there anyway. Oh, he has managed to get some troops over on that side as well. Right. Uh, well, we did take the capital down, so that part is all good. Um, I don't want all of you to stand in the same province here, but I can see the appeal. Can we kick anyone else out of this war? No. 
Hope is not going to be one to be kicked out now, and he's still on medium. Okay, well we did get that one back. Can we get over there? I mean, we can use the... Let's go for it. You're actually dying out here, so let's not do that. Oh shit, that's uh... Um... This is not looking particularly good. It's better than the 27 stack, but I don't want to stay there and fight it. Okay, it ran away. Very good. Right, how are we doing here anyway? France still has 71k manpower, so that is kind of impressive. Austria has declared war on Geneva. Alright. Well, this episode is getting a bit long, so I am going to call it here. Uh, in the next one, we'll finish off this war and then we'll see how much longer we play. We'll sort of reach our goals here, so next episode might be the last one. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.